Welcome to the replay. I love saying that. I think I got that from Alex Kahn, welcoming you to the replay, the first thing that comes out of your mouth. Hello everyone, it's Bob Doyle here, and what you're looking at is the uh, blab screen of Melanie Bundock, and I will be her guest tomorrow for a blab. Uh, what to do when the law of attraction seems to... Ladies and gentlemen, boy, my hands are shaky. Um, I don't have it in my try. I gotta, I'm gonna, I can't, no. I have to set it down. Okay, everyone. So welcome, Jenny. And uh, thank you for subscribing for the Blab Tomorrow, Simply Ruby. Jay Forsyth is here. Christian, Christiana Clark. Hold on. I, I, I know I have readers somewhere in here. I'm going to be really, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm Swery Fairy. Meant to see, Aberly, Rob Hurrell, all the regulars, thank you so much for being here. Happy Monday to all of you. You're watching the Law of Attraction Scope. I am Bob Doyle, one of the featured teachers in the film The Secret. Hello, hello, Melanie Dolga. Ga, 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 ga. Oh, you and email in a conversation, don't I? So today, this weekend was very busy. We uh, actually had a Halloween slash Bob Turns 50 birthday party. And uh, so there was planning for that. I had a full house and... Um, we had Lynn's family over yesterday. It's just been just been kind of crazed. Uh, yeah, no no teeth today. I don't know where the teeth are. So yeah, we had some fun yesterday and the day before. Lynn and I have been doing fun with Bob and Lynn over on her uh, channel at, at Lynn Rose, and um, it's it's insane. We're just we're crazed. We 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 start that show and it just all bets are off. Uh, but we had a great time and we invite you to go check those out over on her channels, and I think I'll also be uploading them. Ty Tyler is here, and there is Melanie Bundock, the woman we were just talking about. We'll be on her Blab tomorrow, so if you uh, don't follow Melanie yet, just go to Blab and do a search for Melanie Bundock, and uh, you will see that she has a, uh, uh, a Blab scheduled tomorrow uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific time, and this topic is what to do when the law of attraction seems to stop working, and we'll be uh, We'll be discussing that topic because it's a it's a very uh, it's a very common thing. Uh, yeah, Melanie is awesome, and I'm really really honored to uh, be a part of her blab tomorrow. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Um, I hope the fan's not too too loud. It, it, I'm in my studio today rather than out in the main living room, and uh, it gets a little uh, gets a little warm in here because you know I do voiceover stuff in here, so all the windows have to be closed, and there's no air running, obviously. Yes, thank you. My teeth look better today. You guys, they're all talking about the fact that I was wearing. Uh, fake teeth yesterday in the fun with Bob and Lynn blab and I am thrilled that you have joined me here today and we're watching that so uh, yeah so everybody share this uh, share this broadcast that we're looking at right now with your uh, followers it'd be awesome if you did and then go over to uh, Melanie Bundock's uh, blab page and subscribe to that and share I'm gonna tell a little bird right now boom bird told and why not why not tell my aunt I think that's kind of funny Look how lovely she is. Okay, hold on. Let me. Well, I can't type it right now. I'm just going to post it. Um, anyway, Natural Grace has joined us, so now we can really begin the conversation. So it's Monday. We got a little, a little uh, less people in the room than normal, but maybe it is just a Monday thing. I don't know. But um, and so last night, Lynn and I were doing our show, we're doing something, and we came up with this idea for uh, the Periscope today. And I was like, oh, that's just we're totally doing that. And then, of course, we can't, neither one of us can remember what that was. So I'm doing this one, which is basically it's questions. It's a question for you. And I really, really want your answer. So this is going to involve some typing on your phone keypad. Um, what are you going to do to feed your soul today? So I'm, I'll talk a little bit about I mean, it should be really obvious why that's important. But let's talk about it anyway. Give us some context. And I want you to share with us what are you going to do uh, to feed your soul today? Because we, especially Mondays, right? We seem to just hit the ground running. And now i got to get do all this catch up with work. I mean, I know that's the case for me. I didn't do a lot of voice work over the weekend. So there's a stack there. I've got all sorts of things that are piling up and so it would be very easy to fall into a pattern of oh, I'm just gonna be heads down today that's all I'm gonna do is work and catch up and um, but I have if you watch my scope you know that I am booked some time this evening for uh, it says mediation maybe you mean meditation I don't know mediation doesn't sound nearly as fun as meditation um, doing that right now with you thank you Ty um, yeah something to you know taking time no matter how busy you are to do something to feed your soul. Not, yeah, I, I figured that's okay. Practice magic. See, that's great. I would like to also do that today. That's a good idea. 
to 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 uh, to do that. I love to do that, and of course, play the ukulele and uh, play with Cody and take a walk by the water. I mean, we have all of these things here, and sometimes I just say I can't do it today, or I want. I rationalize not feeding my soul, and and that's really it's kind of it kind of ties into the subject that we had last week about self care. But this is, I guess, a little bit deeper level of, uh, at the soul level. Like, what do you do to allow yourself to tap into the essence of who you are? That's really kind of what. I mean by feeding your soul, not just like taking time off, kicking your feet up or whatever, but what do you do that honors who you are and what you're here to do, what you're passionate about, what you makes, what makes you feel great. You're in the garden. Are you in the garden right now? You're scoping out in the garden or you're watching this out in the garden? That's fantastic. Um, sit still and feel happy. Great. If that feeds your soul, then please do that. LLL Coaching has joined. Hooray. Just seeing your title remind me to hike today. Hiking is also really good. Loving the woods. Yes, so that means you're going to go find some time in the woods today, right? You're going to go out there and just feel the energy, commune with the trees, and say, yes, I'm so thankful to be alive and that I have this, these woods to walk into. Um, there's just no, I mean, whenever you do something like that to feed yourself, you can rationalize. Lisa Nichols UK has joined. Sit back and watch the kid play. It reminds me that life isn't all about work. That's great. Yes, watching kids just be exuberant and no worries, no concern about time, no to-do list, just walking the dog and playing fetch. I'm with you on the dog walks and the fetch. Cody loves to chase the little yellow tennis ball. He will do that for hours and it just brings me such joy. Hello, Lisa, it's good to have you here. It seems like it's been a while, but uh, welcome. So we're talking about what are we doing today to feed our souls? And, uh, and so, you know, I threw some stuff out there. So what will, what will I commit to? What will I commit to? So I'm going to commit to take in like 30 minutes at least sometime today. Volunteer coach for a U8 soccer team. Awesome. To to practice the ukulele. Like really just not just kind of strum it, but like maybe learn a new song or something like that. That's always that's always good to do. Um, been under a rock. Well, I hope there weren't too many bugs in there. That's yucky. Rolling polies. Um, yes, we're blabbing tomorrow with Melanie. So be there or be square. If you're not familiar with blab, I mean, some some people I know are like, well, what is blab? It's it's a different it's a different um, broadcasting platform where we, we can have four people up in the room at the same time. So we, we it's all it's great for interviews and discussions and things like that. Vision boarding last night, yoga, meditation, awesome, all things to feed your soul. And of course, you know, um, one of the things, the other, like I said, ukulele. And and I think the key is about not just doing something you like, but really being present with it. You know, like not just I play the ukulele and kind of also be doing some other things, but like really be with that. And just like, um, like with the dog, playing with the dog can be sort of passive and I'm just throwing the ball and he's just doing all the thing. Or I can actually be present with the dog too, or scratching the dog's belly and being really present. Um, that's when it will feed your soul. If you're not present, it's not going to, it's not going to be doing the, um, Oh, I'm sorry to hear that LLL coaching. Hold on a second. I can't just. I'm gonna have to get a. I'm gonna have to get a, a cheat sheet of everybody's name so I can look at it. Sarah. Sarah. Well, I'm sorry that you're having connection issues, Sarah. I I forgot to go into airplane mode. I always feel like. Well, I like being with you too. Thank you so much. I love Periscope for this. It's just so right here. You know what I mean. And uh, so anyway, join us tomorrow for Blab. We're gonna be talking about what to do when the law of attraction seems to stop working, but of course we know. It's always working. One thing that helped the connect is connect is to ride my boat, motorbike through, by the hills, through the hills by my house. Yes, that can be a very like being present on a on a bike, motorbike, whatever. Bike riding is another thing that I could do today that would be really good to feed my soul. I could do it. It's all about just making the time, right? You get outside. It's like oh, but I've got all this stack of stuff. I mean, how often do we rationalize not feeding our soul because we make other things more important? But what could be more important than that? Won't we bring the best of ourselves to whatever it is that we have to do, all of our to-do lists, if we take the time first to nurture ourselves and our souls and to tap into uh, you know, who, who we really are and what we're here to do and the things that really literally light us up. I mean, like activating the energy, bringing the cells to life, you know, really creating a powerful magnet to more of what we want by, by doing what we love and being present with it. The universe has been playing technical tricks all day. I'm sorry. I know that that can be really frustrating. Hopefully it's not on my end. Um, all looks well over here. So who else hasn't shared about what they're going to do today to feed their soul? Just come up with anything. I scoped a big 
Park Fountain a bit ago for Case of the Mondays. Yeah, isn't that nice? Being reminded in some ways helps to get this going. This whizzing along in the dark, screaming along to teen spirit. Is the, <laughs> did that the other? Hey, who am I to judge? I cannot judge what feeds your soul. If that feeds your soul, then absolutely. And Sarah is back. Okay, so yeah, I think anything that, you know, you know what feeds your soul. So what else? What else? Who else hasn't shared? Enjoy grounding and meditating. Yes. Being present. I'm adding this and soul feeding to closing of my ebook. Thank you for sharing. Oh, good. Glad we can contribute. And uh, I love being positive. I love being positive. It beats being negative, doesn't it? That's a whole other conversation we can have about people who are um, automatic nose, automatic negative first. Because I certainly fell into that category for many years, and I and I have uh, still some of that program just all the time. Yeah, um, um, still have some of that, and so you know, living with Lynn, who is basically an automatic yes and super positive, it makes for some interesting conversations sometimes uh, when something's thrown out on the table. I think I'm 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 getting off track here. Feeding the soul, feeding the soul, feeding the soul. What will you do today? What are you committed to doing? I mean, truly. I think that we, we really need to do that every day, and I know that I know for a fact that I don't. Like I, I will always take a little bit of time to do something that I like, but it's that present part. It's that being present with it that I think is it, it makes the real big difference and gets you energetically aligned with the things that you want, and sends this really amazing clear signal to the universe. Which we, you know we'll be talking about this a, a good bit tomorrow on Melanie's thing about you know when the law of attraction doesn't seem to work well it's always working we have to really mind what we're putting out there and it's it's um it's so interesting how we can be un unconsciously sending these signals thinking that we're doing what we should be doing yoga exercise yes oh, i need to get back into yoga i really a few years ago i did p90x and um and their yoga segment was 90 minutes it was the toughest workout of the whole thing but i felt so amazing after those 90 minutes. And that was really the only yoga I had done. Um, but 90 minutes dripping with sweat. And man, when you are laying there at the end, just relaxed, I have just felt so amazingly connected and at peace. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. Okay, yeah, so go follow Mucho Problems and go watch the Fountain Replay before it disappears. I used to do that too. I used to just take videos of water and stuff and then post it on Facebook for people to loop. Uh, the wildlife is so wonderful to watch birds, especially birds in the bird bath. Running, how could I forget? Yeah, I'm not, I do not like running. Not a fan. Biking, yes. Running, no. Yeah, yoga's awesome. And I need to, get, I, keep, I keep threatening to get back into the practice and I don't. So I, I, I think it's because I want to do it here at home you know, um, and I just haven't, I just haven't started. And I know that Lynn would be on board with it as well. Um, yeah, so everybody go check out, hold on, let me, let me find out a little bit more about Mucho Problems. Hi, from Arizona. Just an ordinary blue collar American, USMC veteran, thank you, here trying to see what all the hype is about. Almost 11 years, happily married to Vanilla Moki. I think I'm saying that right. I don't have my glasses on again. So I'm struggling with that. My granddad always said you should only run if you're being chased. Agreed. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people love running, and I've done my share of 5Ks and things like that, but I do not like them, and I don't look forward to them. I do them for charity or something like that, and it's been quite a few years since I've done that. My sister, on the other hand, is a lunatic and does marathons. She ran a marathon on the Great Wall of China, and she does just it's crazy. We couldn't be more opposite. Um, but yeah, she's she's very, my sister is very good about doing things that feeds her soul as well, and um, I know Lynn and I both uh, could be better at taking the time to do that kind of stuff. But meditation is a huge part of what we do to feed our soul. I'm so sorry that I'm shaky. I, I don't have this in my um, tripod because it broke. I need to super glue it or find my other one or something. Um, so you follow Mucho Problems. Well, I'm going to do that then. I'm not just going to view his profile. I'm going to follow him see what all the hype is about. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Running is just a great way to get some fresh air and exercise. Yes, absolutely. Time with the thoughts. Very zen and med meditative. Um, Lynn, Lynn and I will, sh she says it's jogging and it's a, it's a 
it's a very comfortable I actually walk faster than her jog but again it's it's getting past the oh we have to go run or whatever and then actually getting out there and being present with it then it's just it's just beautiful especially when the walk culminates by the beach you know we go down to the beach I guess really all I'm all all this is today is an invitation for you to take some time to do something to feed your soul whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes, just something in there where you are, again, it's not just doing something that you like to do, which of course is half the thing, but then it's about being really present and allowing that activity to really feed you at the soul level. Um, okay, well, wow, a two hour coaching webinar, that's, that's long. That's a lot of coaching webinar. But um, yeah, so just, you know, can we all commit with a thumbs up or a yes or whatever, that sometime today we're going to take time to do something to truly feed our souls and let that feeling just fill us, feel the vibration change, feel it. Thank you very much. It's great to have you here from the first time of the scope. I do this every, well, I do the scopes Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, generally a law of attraction related topic. And then on Wednesdays, I do my own blab, uh, most of the time with my, my coaches. I'll bring uh, one of my coaches in. We're going to be doing that on Wednesday as well, 10 a.m. on blab.im slash Bob Doyle secret. I need to schedule that. Uh, oh no, I've already scheduled it. I think it's up there already. Um, and it's about, it's going to be about how to, uh, <clears throat> basically switch into happiness even when you're in a mess. Um, we got a theme going here, you know. Uh, we, we did a happiness-related blab two weeks ago with one of my coaches, and we're doing it again because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't we focus on happiness? Why wouldn't we learn as many techniques as we possibly can to flip into a state of happiness, especially when things are a mess? So we're going to be doing that on uh, Wednesday with Marion uh, Spr Sprissler, one of my um, Boundless Living Coaches, and you can learn more about our Boundless Living Coaching program at BoundlessLivingCoaching.com. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more talk about that as we get ready to really fully launch our coaching program. Very excited about that. I mean, it's out there. You can still apply uh, to be in the program. We just haven't done all the big marketing of it and really releasing it out there because there's still a few little things in the back end to tie up. But if you're interested in talking to one of our coaches about maybe, you know, doing a personal mentoring relationship, we'd love to have you. We'd have loved to have you because they're all amazing and you are going to meet them each uh, here. You're going to meet my, my coaches on these blabs that I do on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So if you're not following me on blab, it's blab.im slash at Bob Doyle secret. No, no, Bob, no, blab.im slash Bob Doyle secret, right? And then if you're following me here, hopefully, uh, just by swiping over and clicking follow, if you're not, I'd love to have you join us on our uh, scopes on Mondays and Fridays. All right, and then again, reminder, tomorrow at 11 a.m., I will be Melanie Bundock's guest on her blab when we're talking about what to do when it seems like the law of attraction isn't working. Uh, you can go over to blab.im and do a search for Melanie Bundock if you do not um, yet follow her because she's awesome and you need to follow her both on Periscope and uh, on Blab. Okay, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very much. Let's check out who you are. Uh, Tim, I see, I, hold on, let me view the profile. Tim Elmers. Not all wealth is silver and gold, and most of the time the prize isn't the end game, but the road towards it, Parapreneur's Ambassador. Thank you for being here, Tim. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the follow. And okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, this was a shorter scope. It's just really a, that reminder. Please do something to feed your soul today and every day. But uh, just all those things that you said, like going into the woods and meditating and doing, you know, running or whatever, just, you know, if that's what feeds your soul, I just ask you to take the time to do it today and hopefully every day and see what changes occur in your life. And again, remember, the distinction is being present with it, like really allowing it to feed your soul on an energetic level, not just, hey, I'm doing this thing that I enjoy. Uh, gratitude for today from Gretchen Nirvana. I walked 5K to hand over some bait goods to my local EMTs, firefighters. That's got to feel great. That's got to feel great. That's got to be nice and soul feeding, right? Uh, yes, we will be at the Periscope Summit in San Francisco. That is confirmed. Well, I say it's confirmed. We won't have a booked a room or anything, but Lynn and I are both on board. We were so bummed that we missed the New York one, so we're absolutely not going to miss this next one. So can't wait to meet so many of you there in, I think, March or something like that, or is it? No, January. Yeah, January. So really looking forward to that. Um... 
yeah, San Francisco. It's going to be awesome. And, and Lynn has some family up there. We have a lot of friends in the Bay Area. So we're just going to make a big time of it. So it's going to be really fantastic. So we can't wait. All right, everyone, go forth. Feed your soul today. Join me uh, tomorrow at 11 uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time with Melanie Bundock uh, over on her Blab channel. And then join me again on Wednesday at 10 a.m. on my Blab channel where we'll be talking about flipping into a, a place of happiness even when your life is a mess. And then again on Friday at 10 a.m. for some other to-be-announced Law of Attraction topic. And of course, go follow at Lynn Rose so that when we do Fun with Bob and Lynn and get all crazy up in here, you can uh, check that out. Because we did one last night, which I think was just uh, crazed. A lot, a lot of music again. So it's just a totally different side of Bob and Lynn, which we'd love for you to be a part of. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining. If you uh, joined us late, go back, watch the replay. And we will talk to you again so, so very soon. Thanks.